plastic bags are everywhere. Raise your hand if you've got plastic bags stuffed with other An plastic entire bags. drawer full. Yeah, honestly. Right? Yeah. Everyone does. <laughs> But Annalise Smith is back from w Waukesha County Recycling to help us reduce our need for plastic bags. How's it's it going? Waukesha. You're not Waukesha. from here, so i got to teach you that one. I'm sorry. Don't worry, there's going to be more of those. Waukesha. Waukesha. I apologize. <laughs> Please forgive me, Annalise. No, Thank you so no. much for being here with us today. <laughs> We're going to break her in hardcore, right? <laughs> we'll get to Oconomowoc later. Yeah, yeah, know? we'll save that one for you, I promise. All right. <laughs> yeah, good to see you again. Good to see you both as well. So, yes, plastic bags. Everybody's got the bag of bags of bags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and they, a lot of people want to recycle because some of them even say, please recycle they on do. them, mm -hmm. but they never belong in your, in your recycling cart or bin because they really jam up our equipment at the material recovery facility. Oh, oh right. and they, in some facilities, they actually cost about $400,000 a year just in all of the time to remove them, dispose of them and things to that nature. So it really gums up the system. So even, what about even with recyclables, putting recyclables in them? So we would prefer that your recyclables are loose because okay. the conveyor belts are moving so fast at the yeah. facility and an employee might not know what's in that plastic bag. Gotcha. So yeah. it's a real gamble to rip it open mm -hmm. on a fast moving conveyor belt. So. Okay. So to give your uh, recyclables the best chance, we want them loose in the cart and plastic bags can be returned to retail locations to be recycled. I do like that. Different equipment to keep the film dry and, and then typically they're made into com composite decking. Um, oh, so that's yeah. okay. one of the end products. But best option is just to never need them in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, what do we do with them all? Because, you know, I have the, the plastic container where they're all sort of stuffed in. And I think a lot of people do that. We keep them sort of all together in our pantry or somewhere. Big drawer filled with them. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yep. what, do we, what, what else can we do with them? So I like to reuse them around mm -hmm. my house as a wastebasket liner, pick it yes. up after the dog, um, things to that nature. Return them to the store for re those recycling drop-offs if if nothing else. Mm -hmm. But just stop using but just them, right? Stop using them, yeah. yep. Okay. So by having a reusable bag, you actually, one reusable bag can save up to 700 plastic bags. Wow. So. Uh, I like that. Uh, so good for the environment. Yeah, so you have some examples of upcycling mm -hmm. here for us right now. Yes, mm -hmm. so we're looking at making t-shirts, turning old t-shirts into reusable bags. These are so cool. Yeah, this so. is really cool. Okay, so yeah, how do you it's, do it? It's a fun easy... Fan of Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so fun easy craft. First, you want to pick a t-shirt. Okay. This one's adorable because it's got the front and the back. Mm -hmm. And then your next step is to cut off the neck okay. and the sleeves. All right, I'm going to wait till we have a shot of this. Oh. All right. So you see that she cut cool. the sleeves off, sleeves. cut the neck off made it a tank top mm -hmm. yep okay and then from there you want to cut fringe across the bottom and any this. good pair of fabric scissors mm -hmm. yep all right and you want the fringe usually five to six inches and then anywhere from one to two inches wide on the okay. bottom okay. so about this so thick that's yep what you do all right and that's then once a you cute top in general i know i'm like <laughs> wear it first <laughs> right i like this with the fringe <laughs> yes so any you know if especially i know T-shirts get nasty in the arms and right. stuff. So this is a great way to get rid of if if it's not wearable anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last step is really fun for kids too. You just tie the fringes, and here I, I left some oh, untied I if you want to take. Yeah. And you just go through and mm -hmm. tie. And usually I double knot because you don't want your groceries to fall out. Right. Exactly. But, okay. And then you just go down down the list, tie the knots, and then you can, depending on if you do the tying right side out or inside out, mm -hmm. you can leave it with the fringe hanging down, like the example we have over there. Oh, I see. Oh, or really cool. if you don't like the look of the fringe, you can just flip it inside out. Oh, gotcha. And and, and tie not on have the, the fringe inside. show. Yep. So if you were to flip it awesome. this way, you would tie them on the inside. Right. And then it would just be a bag on the bottom. bottom. Yep. That's a great idea. Oh, yeah. So then you can take this. Have you used them? Have you used these before I like have, this? I have these all over how, my house. How yeah. do they last? They are really, really sturdy. Yeah. Um, the other thing is um, for, you can, if you are really fancy, can sew across the bottom mm -hmm. to give it that extra reinforcement. But yeah, they last forever. So. That's cool. What's what's going on with the Apple um, Festival? Yes. So if you want to come on Saturday at Retzer Nature Center, we're having our third annual Apple Harvest Fest, which is a huge fall celebration, and there's a kids area, and the kids will be able to um, make these, and adults. Do you have to bring um, your own t-shirt, or do you have, have the t-shirts? They will have t-shirts on 
they, they will be there. So. Okay, good. Oh, so you awesome. don't have to bring them. Yep. Uh, if you want to bring your own, you certainly can. Yeah. Um, and yeah. upcycle there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's so options. cool. I love this, Annalise. I think it is such a great way yeah. to upcycle, be better for the environment. Get rid of those plastic bags. We all have some dingy yes. old t-shirts we aren't wearing <laughs> yes. anymore. So put them to good use. And yes. sometimes you want to reuse them somehow, and maybe you don't know how to make the quilt. This is a perfect way to do it. Yes. All right. So head on out to the Apple Harvest Festival. It's going on this Saturday. It's from 9 to 4 at the Retzer Nature Center in Waukesha. WaukeshaCounty.gov slash Apple Harvest Festival. But there'll be a section for kids where they can make and take these yes. t-shirt bag projects. Super and lots cool. of other things. Too. Lots of so, other things. All right. Thanks for being here again. Thanks. We Thank love it when you're here, Annalise. Yeah.